Hello everyone, I'm Bruna Sá, and today I will very briefly present the work I developed for my thesis about methane-derived carbon materials via chemical vapor deposition method under the supervision of Professor Diogo Volante and Cauê Ribeiro. Methane emissions, especially since the Industrial Revolution, have worsened atmospheric conditions, accelerating climate change. The concentration of methane in the atmosphere is intensified by fossil fuels, waste burning, livestock and agriculture. So, scientists have long focused on reducing methane levels, exploring methods to reduce emissions, collecting the gas and reusing it as a raw material. Regarding the use of CH4 as a raw material, we can highlight its application in the synthesis of multifunctional carbon structures, which have been applied in different areas of material science, such as sensors, batteries, diabsorbers and drug delivery. To use methane as a carbon source, chemical vapor deposition is employed. This is a bottom-up method to produce materials in which a precursor in the vapor phase is thermally decomposed to form a solid product on a substrate surface. And one interesting characteristic of this method is the possibility to use different substrates for carbon deposition, including metals, semiconductors, and ceramics. For example, we can use ceramic fiber paper, or CFP, which is flexible, stable under high temperatures, and it's easy to handle. So, in this work, we developed no methane-derived carbon materials by the CVD method. In the first part, we demonstrate a method to prepare carbon electrodes on CFP using methane to improve the electronic properties of the material. Various synthesis temperatures were tested and the sample produced at 1000 degrees Celsius proved to be electrically conductive. The new material was applied as an electrochemical sensor by Professor Janegit's group to determine paracetamol and dequat in different samples. The sensor exhibited satisfactory selectivity for both analytes even in the presence of interference. And in the second part, some composites were prepared by impregnating zinc and copper oxide in the CFP, followed by carbon deposition by the same method mentioned previously, varying the synthesis time. The results indicated that the presence of zinc contributed to greater carbon deposition on the substrates, while the copper composites presented a sign of nanotube formation on the ceramic fiber paper. So, as a general conclusion, this work presented no materials derived from methane, produced in a relatively simplified form, and this paved the way for future studies regarding no substrates for carbon deposition and the no applicability of these materials. Here are some important references for my work and my acknowledgements for the financial support, facilities and partnerships. So I conclude my presentation. Thank you.